What up, y'all? It's your boy, Coach Ant, back with another one. This one I'm going to go ahead and call Shields. You might have heard this terminology in the past if you've ever been in a boxing gym by some trainer. Some trainers say, put your shield up, or throw the one, two, or make sure you got your shield. Shield, the shield in boxing is just a fancy term for block, okay? But it does have some, some meaning behind it. And there's a lot of importance to it because a lot of fighters don't use it, all right? So for instance, to give you an example, a lot of times maybe you're boxing somebody and you go ahead and you pop a jab, they throw their jab back, you slip and come back with your right hand. So if I did it from the side, you see this from experienced fighters, you see it from all levels, guys will just go pop, slip, bang, right? Do it again. Jab, slip, bang. Whether they take the step or they don't when they slip, that's no big deal. But if you notice right there, there was a little issue. I didn't bring my left hand up. And if I bring, so if you notice, I went jab, slip, right hand. Well, I went slip, right hand. Look where my left hand is. But if you're shielding, what you would do in that situation is simply bring the left hand up. So if I throw the jab and then I slip, or if I throw the jab and I slip, I got my shield up. And the reason for that is, let's just say I throw the jab and slip, but that guy comes with that straight right hand, we exchange right hands. But if I go jab, slip, if I go jab, slip with my shield, as we exchange right hands, I may be able to catch his with my left hand. Okay, so shielding is important. So a good drill to do is when you're slipping, bang, use your shield. Bang, use your shield. Another example, will be slipping the opposite way. A lot of guys do that too. Guys will go ahead and they'll go, slip, slip. See, I'll go, ha, ha. And as I'm slipping, look where my right hand is. It's down. So if I slip the one, I slip the two, when he comes with that three, he's gonna hit me. But if I go, slip, slip, I'm using my shields. I'm slipping with my shields. Somebody comes with left hook, I can catch it right here. Gives me an opportunity to catch, counter back with my left hook or whatnot. So shielding is very important. So all you would do in these situations is simply bring your hand up. I'll give you another example. I could throw a one, two shield, come back with my right hand. Okay, I throw a one, the two, he tries to counter back the two because what will happen in some situations is if you throw a one, two, and the guy goes block, block, I'm in a position to throw my right hand, right? That's that's fundamentals, that's boxing. So if I go one, two, he blocks both shots. He goes to counter back his right hand, I got my shield. So I just go one, two, shield, come back with my right hand. Maybe because of the left hook right there, after I throw my right hand, shield, come back with my left hook. So these things are important to drill. Shielding is just a fancy terminology for bring your hand back to your chin, okay? But you know, if you're shadow boxing, if I'm here, you know, I put a little emphasis into it if I'm moving around. You know, one, two, shield. One, two, three, shield. Sit, shield, shield, shield. When I roll under, I make sure I keep my hands up. Roll under, I keep my hands up. A lot of guys, they like to go slip, slip, roll. Right, and the thing with that is when you're slipping with your hands down, you feel a little bit more free, you know? And there's, some advantages to that. But fundamentally, you're put in a position where you can get hit. And you wanna develop the best fundamentals that you can. So you wanna take these defensive precautions, shielding as you're rolling, and as you're moving, you're constantly bringing your hands back to your chin. And as you develop your style, you know who you're fighting against once you get to know the situation when you're in the ring and you feel your opponent out, then maybe you may do some of these things where you move your hands, but fundamentally, you always want to remind yourself to bring your hands back up. Bring your hands back up. And remember, the punches are coming back. Try that in your training. I hope you like it. Leave your comments below. Follow me on Instagram, at Coach Anthony. Thank you for the support. More videos coming soon. Boxing life.